hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video we are going to uh, do an example problem related to non homogeneous system of equations in the subject of m1 in my previous video what we did we we find out, we just found out the solutions of x y z so here what we have to do is we need not find out the solutions but we have some unknown values we need to predict predict the values of those unknown values okay so let us see how to do this problem and guys uh, if you have not watched my previous video which is about uh, the classification of system of equations like when we say homogeneous when do we say non homogeneous and uh, all those conditions and all if you have not watched that video i suggest you to watch that first and then come here so that it will be more clear for you okay so now let's get into the video first what are the three equations we have x plus y plus z is equal to 6 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 10 and x y x plus 2y plus lambda z is equal to mu okay these are the three equations we have now what we have to do we have to find out what is the value of this lambda and what is the value of this mu in case if these three are having a unique solution and these three are having no solution these three are having infinite number of solutions in these three cases we have to predict the values of lambda and mu for that what we have to do first we have to do the echelon form right in order to do the echelon form what we have to write we have to write the augmented matrix in order to get the augmented matrix we have to first write ax is equal to b form so ax is equal to b let us write a a is nothing but the coefficient matrix so let us write that 1 1 1 next 1 2 3 next 1 2 lambda okay this is the coefficient matrix next variable matrix x x y z next b b is nothing but the constant matrix 6 10 mu okay now let us write the augmented matrix a b So what AB will be 1, 1, 1, 6, 1, 2, 3, 10, 1, 2, lambda, mu. Okay, na? So we have written the augmented matrix also. Now what we have to do? We have to do the echelon form. For echelon form, first let us identify the diagonal elements and let us mark the elements which are below the diagonal so if it is not a square matrix how to identify the diagonal i've already explained it in the echelon form right so now we have to make these two elements and this one as zero very simple one minus one zero one minus one zero so what will be our operation r2 becomes r2 minus r1 r3 also will become the same r3 minus r1 right now let us do first row will be same because we are not operating in uh, first row 6 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 2 10 minus 6 4 right next 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 lambda minus 1 and mu minus 6 okay now what else is to be made 0 again identify the diagonal so this is the diagonal right mm. What is below diagonal element which is not 0? Only this one. We need to make that one as 0. In order to make that one as 0, what you have to do? Simple. 1 minus 1 will give you 0, right? So, R3 will become R3 minus R2 you can do. Then what you will get? 1, 1, 1, 6 as it is r2 also as it is 0 1 2 4 now 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 lambda minus 1 minus 2 will become lambda minus 3 okay next u minus 6 minus 4 you will get mu minus 10 okay so we got this matrix now what we have to do check whether all the elements below the diagonal are 0 or not so this is the diagonal and all the elements below the diagonal are zero so we can stop the process now so now what is our next step what we'll do now is go back to the question 
unique solution no solution infinite number of solutions so if it is no solution what is the condition rank of a is not equal to rank of a b and if it is unique solution then what is the condition rank of a is equal to rank of b sorry a b is equal to n right and for infinite number of solutions rank of a is equal to rank of a b is less than n so let us check by condition by each and every condition our first is unique solution right unique means rank of a is equal to rank of a b is equal to n so what is the matrix we have here this is the final matrix that we got right so in this matrix rank of a should be equal to rank of a b should be equal to n what is n 3 number of unknowns x y z 3 right so that should be equal to rank of a b and the same should be equal to rank of a also got it that is the rank should be 3 if the rank should be 3 for this matrix how many non zero elements should be how many non zero rows should be there three non zero rows should be there right so okay this is one zo non zero row and this is the other non zero row and this also should be a non zero row how can you make this row as a non zero row for suppose if lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10 then what will happen 3 minus 3 this element will become 0 mu minus 10 10 minus 10 this element will become 0 right so if lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10 this row is becoming 0 but we don't want that to happen right so that is why lambda is not equal to 3 and mu is not equal to 10 should be the condition in this case what will happen is this row will never be equal to 0 so that is why the rank will be successfully 3 so that it will be equal to number of unknown values and you can have a unique solution in that case okay so in order to have a unique solution what is the condition lambda should not be equal to 3 and mu is not equal to 10 this is the condition for unique solution got it next second case in the second case no solution means rank of a should not be equal to rank of a b right so rank of a means what here in this identify what is a this matrix is a otherwise i'll write it here separately wait so this is the matrix that we have rank of a should not be equal to rank of a b first identify what is matrix a this is matrix a the one which i have highlighted with pencil this is matrix a its rank should not be equal to this rank okay in that case what we can do we can do like lambda is equal to 3 and mu is not equal to 10 if lambda is equal to 3 what this element will become 3 minus 3 it becomes 0 right if mu is not equal to 10 it will never become 0 right so this if this element is becoming 0 then what is the rank of this matrix forget about this what is the rank of this matrix if this element is 0 how many non zero rows are there only two only these two non zero rows will be there right so close this one and assume only we have this matrix so in this matrix if this element is equal to 0 then all the, this complete row will become a zero row so how many non zero rows we have one two so then what will be the rank of a rank of a will be equal to 3 and rank of a b will be equal to mu minus 10 mu is not equal to 10 mu will be never equal to 10 that is this will never be 0 so we don't have any 0 rows here in a b right so this will be equal to sorry rank of a will be equal to 2 sorry because 2 non zero rows this will be equal to 3 so 2 is not equal to 3 right so the rank of a is not equal to rank of a b in this case so we can take lambda is equal to 3 and mu is not equal to 10 okay this is condition for no solution next the last one is infinite number of solutions infinite number of solutions means rank of a should be equal to rank of a b should be equal to should be less than n that is n is nothing but number of unknowns 3 so rank of a and rank of a b should be less than 3 that is it can be either 2 or it can be either 1 do we have chance for 1 no if it ha has to be 1 these two rows should become zeros the second row third row both the rows should become zero both the rows should become zero rows but is that possible no 
because here we don't have any unknown values the numbers are fixed we cannot change them so no probability for having rank as 1 the second chance what we have we can have rank as 2 which is also less than 3 so if it has to be 2 then this row should be a non zero row sorry this row should be a zero row right that is all the elements in this row should be zero right for a and ab for both rank of a should be equal to rank of ab that is rank of both the matrices should be 2 and that should be less than 3 so what is the condition simple lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10 so if lambda is equal to 3 what this element will become 0 if mu is equal to 10 this will become 0 0 0 0 0 so the complete row has become 0 which means rank of a rank of a is equal to 2 and rank of complete a b is also equal to 2 so rank of a is equal to rank of a b is equal to 2 but which is less than 3 that is which is less than the number of unknown values therefore it has infinite number of solutions okay this is how you solve when you have to find out the unknown values this is also one of the uh, important model i can say okay so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end i hope you understood clearly what i've explained in this video if yes just share with your friends and also if you're having any video recommendations let me know if you're not able to understand it any pa part of the video let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic